All right, so today we have a Tiagra, or Shimano Tiagra 50 wide. Uh, when I previewed this video, we had a lot of stuff falling out of it. And we still do. So that doesn't really bode well for the reel. Uh, the customer said this reel was feeling rough. Um, and it's never been serviced. Let me dump this stuff off. Even though we might get more of this stuff. Alright, anyhow, so this is just like a recon, <clears throat> we're just going to figure out what's wrong with the reel, or what's going on inside the reel, and take notes along the way. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that stuff falling out of there, well, you can definitely see that. I don't like that, that doesn't look good. Okay, so these look, uh, and I can see evidence it has never been serviced or been a while because of all the corrosion around the screws. So we're gonna spray these things down. And while I do this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Right, we're gonna let that soak for a while and take off the uh, the right side first because that, that screw is a little stuck in there. Right, let's just pop this off. We got all the screws, yeah. Oh boy. Hello. Now that's what we call funky looking. Oof. Sorry, I'm just soaking this up, just taking all this in. question is what's this stuff from right just a lot of old grease I hope and nothing scarier than that but it's in pretty bad shape right nice I think this reel is going to need a lot of work can we save it? yeah we can save it will the customer pay to save it? Um, it depends on the price Uh, this looks dirty, but it might be too bad. I say let's try opening this thing up. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to let that soak for a little bit. And do the uh, try the left side again. I'm gonna dump that dirt out into the garbage.
I think this is probably the worst one I've seen. Uh, meaning in terms of a reel that actually functions or did kind of function. I'm looking this bad inside. I'm just referring to like the Tiagros. I've seen some pretty bad internationals too. That still worked. So we got one frozen screw inside here. So I think at this point I'm just gonna pause the camera and uh, just kind of clean some things up uh, and work on opening this drag up. And then I'll come back and show you if I get if I get this open what it looks like inside there. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Just take my set about flying anywhere. We lost one already. No, we didn't. There it is. bad yet. I mean it is bad but it's not not terrible. All right that's it smells like salt water. Smells like water. I'm gonna say salt water. Yeah, that's water. Okay, so we have a pretty good idea what we need for this reel. Uh, we're gonna need a new drag. The bearings may or may not be good. I can't really tell. That post is gonna be tricky. So I have to pull pop this one out. This one looks corroded. It's not, which is even better. Let's pull that out. Then let's pop this side out. Oh, this is nice. things off in the way they came. bearings are moving and this one is not moving either doubt they can be saved I'm gonna save any entire set of bearings 
drag some parts from the assembly. Uh, this can probably be cleaned up. The rest of the stuff can probably be cleaned up as well. There's some parts in here like this plastic piece that kind of disintegrates over time, uh, especially with not being serviced. So I might need some of those as well. And then we'll see what's inside here when we pull this bearing. That bearing looks like it turns. Some of these might be, be able to be saved, but. All right, so we'll call the customer up and let him know and see if he decides to go ahead and do it. I'm gonna take my notes as to what the parts are and price it out. All right, so if he does it, then you'll see this video. If he, well, you might see it anyhow just to show you how it looks. But if he does it, then you'll see uh, a complete rebuild on this one because that's what it needs. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll see you. Maybe I won't. <laughs> All right. So we got everything that I think we need <clears throat> in terms of parts for this reel. Uh, so instead of doing like a walkthrough re rebuild on this with you guys, uh, I think I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. So I'm just going to take apart um, individual pieces or individual sections. I'll uh, show you a little bit about it in terms of breaking it down and I can show you the after shot of it. Uh, maybe kind of walk through the things that I changed. Possibly, I'm not sure. But I want to kind of try to keep this video kind of short. So I'm going to do like a lot of pausing, a lot of transitions from one thing to another. All right. So uh, the screw here that was stuck, uh, I couldn't get it out, snapped it off purposely so I could tap it out, which is what I did. And it's right there. All right, so I'm gonna open this side up. Uh, I'll come to you when it's opened up and then kind of walk through some of the things that, some of the steps in here to take these things apart. Okay, so it's, it's opened up. Uh, the first thing I guess I'll show you is that on, um, take note of these things here. On the hole that's indented, there's a rubber seal. And on the one that's flat, there is a metal washer. There's also some metal washers inside here under these screws. All right, so to get the dog apart, simply gonna unscrew these two screws here. This one here, and this one over here. All right, so let me lift that up, keep that in, I was trying to keep it in place, but obviously I can't because of this. Look at all this dirt, oh my goodness. Well, anyhow, so one end of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one end of the spring hooks onto this, and the way it sits is actually just like that, and it comes out like that essentially. Okay, here's the uh, side plate cleaned, uh, and I'm gonna grease the entire thing. I'm gonna fast forward through this, but since it was so bad, I'm just gonna grease everything inside here. Okay, so now let's put the. Uh, I did the bearing already. I had to grease that up. We're just going to stick that inside. What's in here? And let's put the dog back on. Uh, so we'll do one and then I'm going to cut the video and then jump to the uh, spool. Like that. We're just going to put these posts in and then get the top put on top of it. So I'm going to take the uh, that end that has that little prong or little indentation there, stick it through. going to screw it in all right so I'm going to finish this up and then come back to you with the spool all right so here's the spool uh, let's open this side first 
that this pulls right up. Now we gotta unscrew these screws here. All right, this comes up. Where's the O-ring? All right, there. Anyhow, <laughs> Oh, that's nasty, man. <laughs> that is so nasty. Okay, so to remove this part, we take this off, which fell, which is fine. And we gotta remove that pin. Like so. I'm just gonna pull these up in the order that they are. And now we can just push this out like that. All right, so to remove this plate, you gotta undo those four screws. Same for this plate. Let's see if these things come out or if they're stuck in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to pop that one out. That one comes up, which is good. Under here, on the uh, click side, there's a piston. Try to pull that out. That's how it sits, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna clean this all up, come back to you and just see how to put it all back together, uh, including that drag, because there's a lot of things in there that we're changing up. One thing I didn't mention is, uh, pay attention to the uh, these pins here, because they're not the same length. One is gonna be longer than the other. So just take note of where the, uh, the long one goes versus the short one. Okay, so we cleaned and greased and put these plates back on. We're gonna add a line of grease around these uh, holes here when we're done. And now we're going to do the cooling shield. I'm going to add some grease just along the edge. And then we're going to stretch this around it. Just be real careful with it. You definitely don't want to damage it, especially if you don't have a replacement. It's not that fragile, but, and that's that. All right, now for the drag plate, we're just going to add some drag grease around this edge here. Then we're gonna stick the drag plate on top and screw it in. And now we're gonna add some drag grease to this. And just make sure it fills in all those holes. Now while I'm here, I'm just gonna add some grease to these parts here and over here. All right, so now we're ready to put everything back in. Everything's been greased up. We're gonna start with the, uh, the drag side first. Get our bearing just to get in there. Then we're gonna take our shaft. The shaft's gonna sit like this, where that the hole, uh, the pin, the end of the pin, the longer end of the pin from the hole is facing towards the dog, and the shorter side will be facing towards the handle. So it looks just like this. This is the drag side. It'll be facing like that. Stick that through. Not all the way through, because we need to put our pin inside there. Get our spring, get our shorter pin, stick that through. Now we can just set that down like that. Now we can take our drag that's set inside the cooling plate, fit that pin between those, between that slot there. Then we're just gonna glue it in. I'm sorry, screw it in place. I'm gonna turn this to make sure it's locked, it is. And now we just find the holes and screw it in place. All right, so now we can jump to the other side. We'll take our piston. Remember that point is facing down. And like that, in with the bearing. First is gone is the washer. Then we have our dogs. 
I'm sorry, our clutch. They're gonna sit like this. Inset inside one another, inset inside one another, and then facing each other so like a flying saucer. So like a, a double thickness flying saucer. Same for these other four. And let me push this out a little bit so you can see the gap. See the gap between them when they set. Then this goes on top. And the way to get that pin in is to is to push down on the back of this and then stick the pin in. Just like that. Now we can set this on like so. Fit that inside there as well. And that needs to go over the pin also. So turn it until it sets in place. And then we can stick the ratchet on. And we're good to go. Okay, so I removed the <coughs> The one piece frame from the uh, from the right side, so I could clean it, and I added <coughs> grease to the holes inside here on the right side, or the handle side, and in those holes as well. And I greased inside that edging there, as well as on the outside here, and added some grease there as well. Also added grease here where these washer gonna, washers are going to sit for the screws. I'm only going to put the top two in because I need to use them to put the lug on or the harness on where did our thing go I'm going to stick our rubber seal over this side the one that has the indentation in the frame and now we can take our flat washer or the other washer and put it on the other side. Now we're going to marry these two together. Stick our lug on there and just like that. Then with these other washers, then we're going to screw that in place. I did also uh, grease the screws as well. I'm also going to add some grease when we're done with the entire reel on top of these uh, screws to try to help protect uh, salt water from getting inside there. Okay, so let's work on the right side. Uh, we'll start with breaking down the, the two speed so we can pull this handle off. Whenever you're removing these two speeds, you kind of want that uh, pin to be in the up position. When you lift that up, it'll expose the spring under there. There's also a screw right here that you have to remove. And I cover it, but you don't really need to cover it. It doesn't really go anywhere. I'm talking about the spring. However, if it does go somewhere, you're in trouble. So you're better off holding on to it than not. Then we're just gonna angle this up. All right, let's get that spring out of there. It's gonna drive me crazy. Like that. And I believe this is just regular counterclockwise to remove. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. It is counterclockwise. And then just unscrew it. Pull that out like that. Lift your handle off. And now we can take this off and the washer. And now we can just push this down and out comes the two speed. Trying to keep the stack intact so you can see it, but I wasn't very successful, so let's just take it back over so you can see what it looks like. Like that. Let's go ahead and pop that, that C clip off, and then we'll 
we'll uh, unscrew this. If we go shooting somewhere, we can probably find it. Okay, so now to remove, to, to break this all down, you need to back this screw off. And it again is just counterclockwise. <laughs> I hope it was. That would not have been good if it wasn't. And this just comes out like this. There's a spring under there. We can pull this down. Uh, one thing you want to know with this is that the flat side is facing down towards the screw. There's like a little indentation on this side that's facing up. I can pull that away. We can certainly take these off. I'll show you that stack in a sec. And slip this up, just like so. There's another spring that sits inside there. That goes above it, like that. There we go. So it looks like that. Now this ring is pretty nasty. Wow. In any event, uh, that space was in between there. That concave portion faces down on top of it like that. Next, we're going to remove this cover so we can get the knob off uh, by undoing these three screws here. And just lift it straight up. Under here you'll see a couple washers. Uh, to get this out, just kind of push down and lift up. There's a washer here that goes between this and the lever. There's one washer here and another underneath. Then you can just push this down to get the, uh, the cam out. That's how it looks. Plus this piece here. Get the bearing on top. This is like the best part of the reel. That's nice. All right, so we can screw this out. So this comes out like that. And then you have these little pins here that come out as well. Now we can remove this plate. That comes straight up. You can push in. And now these come. And now to remove this plastic piece here, we're simply going to undo these two screws here. Sometimes these things get stuck on here. So, all right. So the last part we have to do is take the clicker off, and the way you do that is, I like to instead of having it like this for just tension on the spring. I like to release, uh, release as much tension as possible off that spring by turning it so it's in that position and just raising it up like that. Next you have to push up on that. Turn this so you have that slot, that open slot right there so you can push that pin out. Well, that came pretty easy. And just drops out and that's what you have underneath and all that's really left after that is to remove these two screws to pop 
this housing off. All right, so I greased inside already. I'm gonna put the uh, the clicker in first. Now we can stick the the clicker itself through. Then just drop it in. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put the uh, the spring in first before we set this down in place. And you'll notice there's a kind of a bent end there. That's going through here. So let's find that hole and stick it through. Or that hole, excuse me. And just drop it in. And now you're set. All right, so now we can put this plastic piece on. Uh, and even though it's plastic, I still grease on the inside of here and grease on these posts as well because as you can see <clears throat> water kind of just collects in there and uh, eats away at it set it down like that and then we're going to screw it in now we can put these back in like that that we can cover that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cover that up. Put this washer on top. And just stick this in. Like that. Now we can cover it with this. We gotta get that inside that little hole right there. Looks like it's set. All right, now let's put the knob together. Now I didn't show you breaking this down, but uh, you can see being put back together. those in the holes there like that stick it in and to put this together you need to line this up these two prongs in the bottom here with the two corresponding holes that I'm about to show you these two holes right here so it has to be lined up just like that Stick it through, and you're gonna push down on this to get it all the way through, so you can get the uh, the washer and the C-clip on there. And you want to make sure that stays; um, those two prongs stay in in that hole there. Let me show me that groove. And we are, so that is good. Okay, now let's do the cam. Drop that washer in there, almost disappears on you. And now we can drop that piece in. Then you're gonna turn that so it's lined up with the, with the holes. Like that. I'm gonna take this piece and put and get it in there. Those in just like that, with the little notched end sticking out. It'll look like this. Let me add some more grease inside there. And again, just going to screw it all the way down. And we're just going to drop it in. Just like that. Let's get the bearing inside. 
Now we can put these washers on there. Rub some grease onto them. They're pretty thin, so be careful, especially this one right here. Now we can stick our lever on. I want to be around here somewhere because that is the free spool section, like that. Stick that washer on, and now we can stick this in. I'm just gonna go try to find the uh, when you get on there, you're just gonna turn it and try to find that groove. And that's the reason you hold on to the bearing so it doesn't keep shooting out or pushing it out. And now that's set. Now we can just screw those in. That's good. All right, so let's do the two speed on this. We're gonna take this piece, line it up to where it's, you can see the gap like that. Drop this spring inside there. And now we're gonna put this on before we go any further because we need to uh no we can take that off or not sorry uh we need to make sure that goes on before we screw anything down stick this in with the prong or the point end facing down get our screw in there and then we can put this washer on there like that Now I'm going to screw this in, and then we're just going to secure it. All right, so now at this point, we can get this uh, E-clip on there. That feels like it's on there pretty good. And now we can continue. Uh, for the for the low gear, what's facing up in this direction like that will be the side that has the two indentations in there. And we're going to put that on like this. Now we can take the main gear, drop that in place. Our two speed is set. Now we're just going to stick it through here. And let's get our cap on. And now we're going to get our handle. Alright, so just stick our handle on there. screw this in you're supposed to get the uh, one of those notches onto one of these points here to get it to set right uh, that's a general guide it doesn't doesn't really help me that much but yeah. all right that's good right there set your spring before you put this over um, this uh, the pin, and the way I do it is I just angle that um, that spring down as I push forward on this thing. I just turn this sideways, push this up, let's get it down, and now we can just set this in place push up on that and set it in place and then you can screw this in and 
this don't need to be super tight. Just snug will be fine. All right, so I'm gonna put this together. Um, you saw how I did the, the left side or the non-handle side, basically doing the same thing for this side. Now I'll come back to you and verify that the reel is functioning properly. All right, let's test it out, make sure it works right. There's a free spool. Let's stop that. I don't have any bags set on this thing. Feel the drag there, that feels good. Let's get the clicker and the anti reverse works. All right, so it all works. That's good. All right, guys, thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, even with all those cuts in it, I'm sure it's still gonna be a fairly long video. Um, but if you like the content I put up, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and that like button, and I will see you all next time.